All right, so it is one o'clock. We were supposed to wake up at nine ish to go to Ace and get everything that we needed for my car to be finished today. So we're now gonna be headed there, headed to Taco Bell for some for your mom and an yeah, errand. Yeah. yeah. So. And the gas station. And the gas station for drinks, cause it's Arizona. You're out here dying if you don't have a drink. So. Other than that, my car should be done today. We just have to do the rear motor mount and the two crown nuts on both of the suspension pieces in the front. Yeah? Lower controllers. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, well, we'll see you guys later. Alright, so we went to the gas station, got something to drink, then we went over to our friend Gavin's house and got some stickers made. Barry's garage with our two numbers on it. There is two of them, so one of them will be going on my car, one of them will be going on his car. They look really good so far. Maybe down the future road Ooh, we'll have. Evo, Evo, there Evo, is an Evo. Evo. There's an Evo and there's a Maserati. And Shout out to him. That guy has a nice 2K. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Maybe down the future road, we will get these ones made again, maybe with a different design. Who knows? But right now, I'll show you guys a video of them once they are put on the car. Right now, we have to run to Ace and still go get all of his stuff and I just dropped my phone, so. We have cotter pins at the house too, so. I know, let's get it. Major throwback moment right now. The train, bruh. Dude, I'm stoked. That, that, it hasn't run in what? Two years. Two, three years. It wasn't, it wasn't running last time we were here. So everything is going smoothly this morning so far. Although we've only done, what, two things, really? Why well, is the fact that crown nuts are 10 fucking dollars? They're 489 for two, or for one, and then 1085 plus tax and all that, so, yeah. Ugh. So right now we're gonna go to Taco Bell, probably get something to eat, and then our friend Anthony, the one with the white Accord that was in one of our previous videos, the one that got bannered, is gonna be coming over to help us finish this up, and my car will be up. So, let's get it. I got you. <laughs> Hashtag using my old school ID. Oh, dude, he used the one with the lines in it. In the, in the vinyl? No, I'm just kidding. Alright, so Anthony showed up, we did a little bit of work on it as far as we could go, we have to thread one of the other sides again, I have no idea why, I don't, I think this crown nut won't go on, one of the new ones we bought, so we had to go back to O'Reilly's, we had to get a new thread kit, which ran us $104.35, so once we thread it, we can take it back, get our money back, after that, it should be smooth sailing from there, hopefully, but... It's been a long time coming, guys. I'm really excited for my car. I'm definitely going to get some footage of me driving my car. You already know. The only bad side is I had to break in the clutch, so no romping on it for a little bit, which means no street racing. So, to be honest, I think I'll just be happy to drive her again. I could care less about a street racing thing for a month. So. Really? It's hitting the fucking. Let me do the other side. We filled her up with one damn quart. How far in is that hose? And it's a yeah. pretty damn far.
No. So, car's done. Got a little bit to do. Got a couple of uh, double checking and everything else. We have to get the AC recharged. We have to put coolant in. But other than that, the car should be drivable tomorrow for me to go to school. So that's always a plus. So I'll show you the car right now, how it's parked and all that because, you know, we had literally everybody, everybody was here except for a couple of people. They couldn't make it. But I'm so thankful for everyone that showed up. So if you're watching this, I love you guys so much. Honestly, it means a lot. I'm sorry that I was so pissed off at everything. But it's been a rough month and a half. Especially with uh, everything going on. And if you guys have any questions about what's going on, let me know. Alright, so the car is kind of parked on the sidewalk. Kind of not. Everything's open. Everything looks really good. This was wrapped carbon fiber. It's not anymore. We wrapped, we ripped it off the wrap and threw a Honda badge on that we pulled off the SI about April, May. Everything looks really good. Little things to do here and there. But other than that, it's really good. This is the aftermath though. We got cups, 3M tape, jacks, jack stands, extra parts, drinks, uh, fluids, old drinks from maybe yesterday, jack handles, more drinks, more stuff my uh heat shield all that tires tools everything so wish us luck while we're packing everything up and my car should be done and drove tomorrow so today was the uh, make sure everything works day we also needed to throw in a thermostat because something happened with that last night no idea so right now I'm just sitting outside of my school and one of my uh, best friends truck beds while he's inside doing his other classes because I get to leave right now Brandon's on his way uh, the clip before this was one of my friends I'm gonna make an edit of my car when it's hundred percent done and I'm gonna have one of his songs in the background I'll obviously leave a link to his SoundCloud and I'll tag his uh, Instagram in the bottom right bottom left corner so yeah, we're going to wait for Brandon and hopefully it's not too long because it's hot. We're getting Arby's, boys. If your car were doing what my car would be doing, you would have nothing on your car. At all. Like, everything underneath your car would be gone. Yeah. Have your neighbor stopped by today to complain? No. No, that's good. You know, cars aren't meant to be on the sidewalk. Well, it's barely not even touching the sidewalk. Truth. So, today's the day. It's 100% drivable. Alright, so let me catch you guys up. Right now, we're going to head to AutoZone and O'Reilly's. Try to find a headlight bulb for my front left headlight. Because the low beam's out, the high beam works. Then after that, we're going to try to figure out what's going on with my uh, fans and all that because it's not working, which means the car overheats easily. That's the only thing that's keeping us behind schedule besides there being no schedule. And then after that, we're probably going to see if his uh, seat rails and sliders work. If they do, we're going to take out the SI seats in his car and put his NRG ones in and after the NRGs are in we're gonna take out mine and we're gonna put the SI seats in my car because it's Arizona and it's too hot to have a leather interior all right so we're out here replacing my low beam light because it's out go team yeah <sighs> how much was this like eleven dollars yeah 
Oh, just for one damn beam. Oh. So. Alright, so the bulbs are in. It worked good on both sides. Bumper is back to where it should be. I hate you. Bingo. So now all we have to do is figure out what's going on with my radiator. And we should be solid. Alright, let's get it. God damn. I got to look pretty good. The only time, the only spot that I couldn't was like right up here. Alright, so the fans are not working, but it's going. We got her moving, she's out of the neighborhood. Not overheating or anything like that. She's off and she's running. We got her all tidied up. We are going through. Things are going great. I'm really stoked on how things turned out tonight. Couldn't be better. She's running, she's driving. Uh, she does need one new radiator fan, but we got that right there. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully, I will have my other front seat in. I got my driver one in. And it looks pretty decent. It doesn't look bad. Um, but it is a little, a little weird. I need to uh, cut and weld. But, yeah, y'all can't see it. But I got... These, this bolt, that bolt, and that bolt in. This one is uh, too far back, so it doesn't go in, but I'm stoked on it. I still got uh, Brandon's other SI seat for passenger, but that'll change tomorrow, hopefully. Um, but yeah, shout out to uh, Ryan, my buddy Ryan Maynard, um, and uh, Chase Blanset for helping me put these together. I've tried, but they had to go in backwards. So the only way to adjust the seat is to actually push down instead of pull up on it. But that's just the way things end up sometimes. But they're in and uh, hopefully soon I'll have both the, uh, both the seats in and perfect. Alright guys, see you next time.